Welcome one and all, whoever may be watching this, this will be part 11, Dave the Diver, let's go! Here, these are the special diving gloves made in our research facility. With these you'll be able to pick up various objects in the water. Why don't you test them out yourself? Enter the water. Objects that can be picked up will show a button when you go near them. Yeah, we've tried picking stuff up before. First, try grabbing the pile of rocks over there and dropping them. That's weak wood, so you should be able to break through. Uh, does placing them count as dropping them? Because that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Um... Okay. <laughs> wow, very nice. Let's try going down. Are we really doing a tutorial right now? Current strong, grab the anchor so it won't sweep you away. Good, you can grab onto objects like that to anchor yourself. That'll come in handy in places with strong currents. Oh, I see something shiny back there. Grab the stake in front of you and pull. Since the path is open, grab the treasure up top before coming up. Far out, Brussels sprouts. All right, see you in the boat. Really? That counts as my morning dive? Looks like Dr. Bacon left abruptly again after finishing his explanation. In any case, these diving gloves look like they could come in very handy. I heard the sea people are waiting for you. Go down there and try pulling out the stake. Wow. Thanks, game. I really appreciate you telling me what I need to do. <laughs> Sir, the pictures you took were well received. Oh, great to hear that. I hear my superiors want to assign me another task, haha. <laughs> if I bring them a picture as nice as the previous ones... I have an offer for you. Do you want to join me and take a picture that will stand the test of time? And what are you planning to take a picture of? Do you know about manta rays? Of course. They are one of the largest of their kind. I have seen one of those majestic creatures firsthand. Oh, oh good! I'm planning to take a picture of them. What do you think? Oh, Alright, I'm sold. Oh. But... Oh, but... Oh. They're nocturnal, so we need to move at night. Yeah. We need some lure to attract them. Sir, I will prepare my equipment. Could you find a lure in the meantime? Uh, I don't know what manta rays feed on. I'm sure you'll figure it out in no time. I will count on you then. Tell me when you've got the lure. 
Hmm, what would manta rays feed on? Mm. Ellie is the best when it comes to ecology. I should give her a call. Okay, um, <laughs> I feel like in the last video I was all set up to just ace the whole dining situation, but it kind of didn't work out. Um, can I please look at my to-do list? Okay, so I should prepare white trevally kelp and soy sauce, alright? Okay, my mouse is just like, I will not work. I will not do this, how dare you. Oh gosh, okay, we've got new ones all over the place. Oh, we good? Are we done? Let's call Ellie. Oh, how's it going? Do you know what manta rays feed on? Hmm. I know what manta rays eat. Oh, really? They feed on plankton at night. Drop something that lures glowing plankton at night and they will come. And you will need five kelp to lure plankton. Huh? It's made of kelp. Not necessarily, but they will work too. Just bring me some. Oh, you got it! Now input this here. Woohoo! Got some echo points. Hey, this has nothing to do with the lure. Oh, don't be disappointed yet. Ta-da! The lure capsule. Oh. Just drop this lure and you will lure all the plankton in the area. It's made of quality ingredients. Goodbye then. I got the lure now. I must tell Udu about it. Aha, oh, this must be the lure for the manta rays. My mouth is watering. I'm kidding. Anyway, I need to prepare to take the pictures at night. I will call you when I'm ready, hee <laughs> hee. Okay, far out. Sometimes this game stresses me out because there's just so many little things to have to do. So now I'm going to have to get more kelp. Which is fine, we can get it as we're going down to the sea people's place. Um, I think... Oh, I can't check my phone underwater. Okay, I meant I wanted to see if we had the white fish, whatever it is that she wants. No, it's the whale again. Huh? I think it has something to say. I should record its cries and ask Ellie about it. I hope I'm not supposed to be recording its cries because I have no idea how to do that. No, go away. No one loves you. Oh gosh, they're everywhere. <laughs> Far out, leave me alone. Oh gosh, they are everywhere. I 
Okay, so we just have to keep an eye out for the kelp. Hey. Like, I was so confident we'd run into kelp, like, in the first five seconds and we've not run into anything. So that's the, oh gosh. Go away, far out. Oh, yeah, okay. Nice, that was easy. All right, still no kelp though. Oh, far out, no, go away. I've got boxing gloves, I'll punch you. And I punched him. That's also a reference. How much kelp do I need for this girl's stuff? Oh, go away. Yeah, go away. Alright, let's go rescue the sea peeps. I think that should be enough of everything for her meal. I didn't mean to use, I wanted to switch it around, whoopsies. It's a good waste of air. pile of rocks moving around. Oh, it's my octopus friend. Hey! Oh, it's that octopus from last time. It's spraying ink again. I won't let you get away this time, just wait. I'm just glad the shark or the crabs aren't here anymore. Great, the path is clear, just wait you octopus. Mm. 
Hey, how dare you spray ink twice? I won't let you get away with this. Mm -hmm. Ask Bunko for takoyaki. No, don't eat the octopus. Oh, it ran away again. It's definitely quick. Hmm? It dropped something again. Hmm, it always leaves something behind. It might not be as bad as I thought. It seems to be an artifact. I'll have to identify it back at the surface. What's this way, huh? Oh, yeah, okay, so that's... Yep, cool. Can't do anything from this end. I don't think. We'll see what happens. Maybe I'll have to swing around. Human. I was afraid you'd been eaten by a frilled shark on the way back. She talks like someone I know. I think I'll be able to pull out the stake if I use the diving gloves from Dr. Bacon who lives on land. Bacon. <laughs> In our language, that name sounds like spoiled whale meat. <laughs> uh, okay. Wait a moment. Let me try and pull. Uh, let's just keep what I've got for the moment. It was effective, but not enough. Hmm. I think one more attempt might cut it. Human, there's another rock pile over there. Uh, there's no movable device over there. I'll have to go check it out first. <sighs> We're gonna have to go up and around. I don't know why, I kind of find some of the tasks in this game a bit tedious. Hmm, there's nothing that can be done on this side. I'll have to try going around the back. <laughs> Just love that everything here is like out to get me. Yikes, I'm going to need some O2. Oh gosh, I don't even know where I need to go. Do I need to go down again? Do I need to just go across? Yeah, here we are. Cool. Ah, far out. Oh yeah, sorry, that's a steak. I just didn't feel like reading it. Wow. 
Wow, human! Good, we have a path. You're more useful than you look. The village is very close. Come in through the hole you just made. I'll go ahead. Wait, I can leave now, can't I? Would you listen to yourself? Aren't you worried for Ramo? Besides, I have a request for you, so I would like you to come to the village with us. The Sea People Village? Me? Yes, there's a reason I came all the way up to the Human Sea. I have a request. Uh, okay. I guess off we go. Hey, we're going even deeper, hey? Ugh, I'm getting real spooky vibes. Something just moved past me. Human, go ahead and be our lookout. But it's so dark. I feel like there might be something dangerous there. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, it was like a giant electrical eel or something. Okay, you sense a dangerous creature's presence. Once entering, an event will proceed that will end with you returning to the boat. That's fine. Ah, uh, okay, I'm seeing currents. What is this? Why is there debris like this so deep? I'm assuming these anchors we're going to have to grab onto at some point. Oh no, those vibrations again. Something has to be here. Why did he tell me to come alone? Oh, am I going to be a sacrifice? What is that? There are woof eels that big. Uh, I don't think I can run. Oh, whatever. So, am I actually trying to kill this? Oh gosh, hello. Oh, shivers. Oh, it looks really tough. Huh, the shiny spot on its tail, it looks weaker than the rest of the body, sure. So go for the tail? What's from around here? Uh oh. 
Oh, I was so lucky there. Oh, that was also so close. Can a wolf eel be so big? Sorry. Ahem, I was just about to come in and defeat it. I guess I came too late. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you're stronger than I expected, human. <laughs> now you see that big gate over there? That's the entrance to the village. <laughs> Take the lead, human. Why am I leading the way? Oh, we're finally back to the village entrance passageway. Ramo, you have the key, right? Oh no! I left the key back at the... Just kidding. <laughs> I have it here in my bag. Oh, phew. I thought you were going to ask me to take you again. Let's insert the key and get back to the village. This is... Haha, oh. <laughs> that's right. This is the Sea People village we live in. Mm. To think there would be a place like this under the sea. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> how, how did a human get in here? <laughs> huh? Ramo? Suam? Were you kidnapped by this human? <laughs> Tenzin awaits you. He's lost sleep worrying about you. Ha, uh, it's kind of hard to explain. Haha, <laughs> allow me. I rescued Ramo after she was kidnapped by a squid. Oh, forget it. Just take me to my father. It'll be faster for me to explain things to him. Ramo, my daughter. Where were you, my precious girl? Your daddy. Your daddy was worried out of his wits. Are you hurt? Did the humans do something to you, my daughter? Wait. Who is this next to you? I thought you'd brought a blue manatee, but this is a human. Mm. 
What is going on here? I'd like an explanation. You know that strange things have been happening around here recently, right? For example, the tremors and the ice melting off the divine tree. Oh, of course, Ramo. I've been looking into the causes. It's already been two years. You know our technology has its limits. Oh, well, the ancient texts have all been lost and we need to figure out new methods again. We can't simply keep waiting, Father. Humans are selfish, but they have good technology. We need their help. No, not the humans. They can't be trusted. They dirtied our home and even hunted our kind and put on display. They're wicked creatures looking to hunt us and steal from us. We can't ally with the likes of... Another huge tremor! See? Something really bad will happen if we don't do anything. Uh, mmm... When I was taken by the giant squid in human waters, Dave here helped me out. Suwam said he was the one who did that earlier. Try asking him. Not all humans can be bad, can they? I mean, well... Even, even if I wanted this, the villagers would not agree. Getting help from humans, everyone would find it hard to believe. If this man can gain the villagers' trust, I'll consider your suggestion. Hmm, the villagers' trust. How does he go about winning that? How about asking around to see what they need? Alright, since today's long trip must have been pretty tiring. Human, come back here tomorrow. You'll have to listen to the villagers' requests. Wait, I didn't even agree yet. How am I supposed to come all the way here? Hmm, since you say you helped my daughter, Ramo. I suppose it wouldn't be fitting for my people to ignore your needs, even if you're a human. Use this. What is this? It looks like an ordinary mirror. This Sea People mirror, once installed, will let you instantly travel to this village. Whoa, is such a thing possible? The various disasters have caused our decline, but our ancestors were a very advanced civilization once. Right now, all we have left is a few of their relics, sadly. In any case, installing this in your village will allow you to come to this village whenever you need. It will recognize your face, so only you will be able to use it. It also operates from the light of the divine tree or the sun, so you can only use it during the day. Oh, and I'll give you a village map to use. It will help you find the villagers. Hmm, a teleportation device. That's pretty amazing. I'll have to go back to the boat with this mirror for now.